it's an amazing event with a phenomenal uh, spectrum of people uh, from uh, everything from sort of public um, policy to clinicians to researchers. Um, and uh, coming out of that, my head is still spinning with all the content. I think for me, uh, one of the big takeaways is uh, something very simple. So we preach to our chronic pain population uh, about trying to achieve SMART goals. So SMART, achievable, measurable goals. Um, uh, and uh, and yet we don't do that all the time with our, we're a planning from a standpoint of the organization. And so I love that idea of bringing SMART goals back to the boardroom, back to the uh, organization to actually have that sort of those short iterative cycles. Uh, as always, one of the things I love about the forum is uh, the patient partners that come and uh, speak so articulately to the challenges, not only of being a patient, but being a patient engaging the system. Uh, and we do a bit of that in the work that I do. Uh, and and uh, as, uh, as one of our patient partners had said, um, not uh, just being tokens, but actually truly engaging and incorporating in the process. And, and it's always a good reminder as to what how much they bring to that discussion. Uh, so again, that is something that I think we can do more of uh, back home. Uh, and so I certainly look to that. As far as my provincial par participation provincially, uh, I really appreciated the structure uh, that was described here today at seven parts, the key aspect of all seven being integrated into any project as you move forward. And so I'll have that a radar on as, as I'm working with my provincial counterparts on, on, on what we roll out uh, to all major pain centers across the province. So chronic pain is ubiquitous. Um, and so uh, some of the participants in, in this uh, agenda today um, have potentially uh, a narrower focus, a specific disease uh, process that they pursue. Uh, from a standpoint of, of chronic pain, uh, I think think, at least initially, as we look at the cultural change required in picking up um, uh, this sort of learning, rapid learning cycles, uh, is to model it in specific domains that we're already doing some work in. Our, our clinicians are very, very busy uh, and uh, bringing something entirely new. We're going to do this and we're going to do, might be a little overwhelming. So uh, there are some initiatives that we've undertaken that uh, have smart goals and manageable outcomes and potentially things that are already being measured, but are we fulfilling all seven aspects of that, um, of the sort of rapid learning cycles? And could we actually uh, use those current models or current uh, programs to uh, demonstrate the benefit of the cycle, uh, demonstrate where there are gaps uh, and why filling those gaps makes a difference in outcomes? And then I think like has been suggested today is to really celebrate those uh, and then to use that as the foundation to further change. Mm -hmm.